Good after, oh my gosh, you have red hair. Oh, I forgot that you guys haven't seen it yet. Holy macaroni. <laughs> well, in today's video, we will put in the clips from the other day when we got our hair done and we didn't, we didn't put that in a vlog yet. Not yet. So we'll put it in this one so you guys can see it if you're interested. I was just laughing because literally every time we come over here and film next to this wall. Oh, Bandit drinks water. Bandit starts drinking water. <laughs> How dare you need to hydrate your body, dog? Speaking of hydrating bodies, uh, there's a hurricane headed towards us. Yeah. So you guys are going to come along with me as we do a little bit of hurricane prep. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm editing the video for today, yesterday for you guys. Um, so I'm going to stay at home with Bandit and get the house like ready. Well, the good news is for the most part, I started preparing for this hurricane a week and a half ago, well, as soon as it was named. Yeah. And I'm like, do we really need, you know, cause we, we get this a lot where we're like, is it going to hit us? And it never really hits us directly. Right. And this is different. Yeah, because like as soon as it was named, I was like, I have a bad feeling about the storm. Well, after Harvey, honestly, like that gave me a bad feeling about the rest of the year. I mean, that's yeah. that was like a big. Yeah. We haven't had a storm like that. Like. Yeah, the last time we had a lot of hurricanes or bad hurricanes. 2004. 2004. Yeah. yeah, and that's when we were literally stuck in our house for like three weeks. Yeah. Like it was nuts. We did like it was just it was like a state of emergency and we we had never i had never seen anything like that yeah people went for um like months without power yeah so. we at that house though our power lines were underground they were buried underground with this house yeah they're not so i have a feeling we're going to be in that same boat we're right. going to be without power or at <laughs> least a little bit i'm really worried not about the power as much as i am worried about like people who are not prepared right. i i know that we'll be okay like i know that with the amount of food that we have, the amount of water that we have, we'll be fine. We right. may not be able to like upload videos for you guys for a few days, depending on how this weather is. But, like, I'm not worried about that. Know that we're safe. Like, right. know that we will be here. We'll be fine. But what I am worried about is the people who are not going to be fine. The people who didn't prepare or who are not taking this seriously. Right. I'm, I'm like afraid. Right. It's just, so. it's a very like stressful time right now. Just thinking about like what could happen, what will happen. I don't know. I'm stressed. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just stressing this whole vlog out. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people are out looking for generators and I'll show you guys that we're going to go to like Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys the generator section. Most of them are sold out. We decided against the generator because for the most part, it would be running our refrigerator, which we have, uh, we are not stocked up on any perishable foods. All of the food that we bought, we bought a yeah. month's worth of non-perishable food. We have like canned food, like yeah. dry food, cereal, granola, like lots of water, but we don't have any, anything. Yeah. We have no refrigerated, no refrigerated stuff. So I will say this though, just really quick, because this is something that, um, we didn't really vlog about or talk about a whole lot, but we did do. If you guys want to help anybody that is being affected yeah. by these hurricanes, these storms, um, we have already donated to. Uh, a couple of the Harvey uh, donation sites, like we donated to their SPCA. And we donated to the Food Bank of Houston. Okay. And the ASPCA, and then there was a third. Yeah, there we, was a we third donated one. to three. I could, I'll look it up. But what I, <laughs> the point that I'm getting at is that um, people there still need your help. They still need our help. People here might need your help too. Um, right. We don't know yet. But keep in mind, there are sites out there that you can definitely, if if you are able to, you can donate to, donate to, and you can help um, the people that are being displaced from the storms, the people that have lost everything, um, people that don't have food, people that have lost family members, like they still need the help in Texas. Um, and, right. we, and like I said, we might need it here. So I'll put some links down below of some sites that you can donate to if you want to, um, but it would be greatly appreciated because we don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, and the, what's it called? It's called Charity. Oh, the Charity Navigator site. So Charity that Navigator can... has a specific page for Harvey donations. For, for actual donation sites that are gonna give the most to the people that are being affected and not the CEOs of the companies that right. are running the not-for-profit sites. So, um, sorry, I know this is a lot of information. It's just, we're, we're having a lot of information kind of thrown at us. And yeah. so we want to share it with you guys. So if you want to help, um, you can. Yeah. And so the other thing that the generator would be needed for would be the AC and we'll be fine without it. Honestly, I don't think I know we're not going to have those luxuries during this and I'm okay with that. Yeah. Like I know that we're not going to have air conditioning and that we're not going to be able to use our fridge. That is the least of my worries. Right. Like uh, honestly. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing to note about a generator too, and this might not be something that even people that have gone out and bought a generator is one tank of gas on a generator normally only lasts 10 hours. So that means that every 10 hours you're going to have to fill up the generator. 
Right. And so you need kind of a lot of gas I mean, to I have can, a generator. I can see it for people that have like medication that needs to be refrigerated right. or that have babies that have to have like their, you know, their food refrigerated, that right. kind of stuff. I get that. We don't need it. So right. we're not going to be taking up the gas in that way because I'm sure that other people will need it more than we will. Right. So, so let's I, go. I let's go on a hurricane adventure. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to freak anybody out, but like I'm freaking out. So wish us luck. <laughs> Perfect stop to go before a hurricane is a camping store. Got to get some little tanks of propane, maybe a water purifier. See what we can find in here. Ooh, they have a whole section devoted just to the hurricane. Perfect. They've got lots of filtration and sanitization stuff. Like they've got these little lights here that could sanitize the water. They've got iodine tablets and stuff like that for sanitizing the water. I got this guy, which is the the hiker, the hiker micro filter. Because if all else fails, I can just go down to the lake or whatever and just fill this up. And then I also got some more fuel for my camping stove. So just in case as a last resort. This brand is pretty expensive, but they are all just like non-perishable foods that you can put water in and cook it up over your camp stove. If worse comes to worse, we have a bunch of stuff that we just got from the grocery store that was a lot cheaper and easier to make, like beefaroni and stuff. Kind of interesting, one of the things that they said was flying off the shelves was solar powered units that people could use to power their laptops. There weren't any left in the store, but I thought that was interesting that those were selling the most. The next stop is Ace Hardware. They'll have a lot more stuff than one of the big box stores, I think. Oh, look, their flashlight section's like all gone. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. So my whole point behind coming to this Ace Hardware was to try to get propane for the grill so we can cook. We still have some propane, but I wanted to get an extra tank just in case. They're still filling propane here, but they don't have any new tanks to fill. So I would have to bring an old tank here, which I have one, but it's already like still pretty full. It's like seven eighths full. So it, I couldn't really add any more propane to it. Uh, so I'm off to a different place to try to find a propane tank to fill. And so now the next stop is the bank. Just got to get out some cash just in case, just in case power goes out everywhere and we don't have credit card machines or anything like that. Just want to have some cash on hand just in case. Well, let's see if we can find a propane tank here. Oh no. Dang, I guess not. I'll tell you what they do have though. This guy. So here I have an empty tank so I can get this and then go back to that ace that still has propane and fill it up there. So I think that's my my plan is. Well, that is a scary minion. It's a firefighter minion. Why is it a firefighter minion? Also, I walked by this and I wasn't paying attention and it scared the heck out of me. What? Also, these are kind of neat. They got like, whoa, what the heck is that thing? It's kind of ridiculous stuff. Oh, this one's perfect. It's just like a, just a one random skeleton. Oh, ghosts. Ghosts flying everywhere. All right, I gotta get back to this, like, back to my hurricane prep. This is too much fun though. They definitely have way more flashlights here at Lowe's than they did at that Ace Hardware. I'm not seeing any generators or anything though, but I did, like I said, I got my empty propane tank. I just gotta go get it filled now. This thing's kind of neat. You like start a little fire in this thing and then the heat is used to uh, charge your phone. And I think maybe you can cook on it too, maybe, or you just use it to warm yourself up and charge your phone. So I went back to that Ace, got the tank filled. No problem, cost me $11, not too bad. Heading into Target now, we've got everything that we need. I just want to see if I can find like a like a lantern. Not necessary, but would be nice. There's still lots and lots of granola available here at Target. Lots of cereal and stuff. I think that people like in our area didn't think about stuff like this. What is this? Pumpkin spice frosted mini weeds? What the heck? But here are the water shelves at Target. All out of water. I wanted to like have a good song to say in the beginning, but I couldn't think of one. Stick, stick, leak, P.O. box. 528. <laughs> New York City, New York State, 101. Oh, wait. Uh, we're going to get our hair cut. Jen's getting her hair done. I'm getting my hair cut. Yeah, guess what we just did? What did we do? Dropped the camera. Just dropped the camera. Like, literally, just dropped face down on the ground. How does it feel? Are you N guys okay? NBD. <laughs> that's, that's like the new slang these days. The name of this store is Form Function Form. And it's like FFF. They don't have bourbon or leather, they just have yes. We don't have bourbon what? or any of these. <laughs> we just have yes. yes. Are you still getting your hair cut? I am. 
them. Well, it's not. They did the bangs, and then they're gonna do the color, and then go back and like check the hair. But like, what do you think of my like '70s bangs? Are they they're, doing it? Yeah, they they are sort of right now. Oh. Sorry, I like messed with it, so it's not doing what she did. But it's. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to be like a '70s princess. Yeah. yeah. But look at this. You guys ready? Oh. Oop, got my hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> like. Super fast. I like how you did the nini. You're like, bloop. No, I said bloop. <laughs> not bloop. The bloop is that thing that somebody heard in the deep ocean. Scary noises. Oh, I thought that was a boop. Oh, that is it a boop or a bloop? Well, I just know that nini does the bloop. Jen's still getting her hair done, but I'm walking down the street to the sub shop, get us some lunch, and then bring it back to her. This is the very first time I've ever seen a combination Domino's, Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins. Like, Anything you could want. Pizza, ice cream, coffee, we've got it. But this is where I'm going to. Gabriel Sub Shop since 1958. That's a long time. Jen's still off getting her hair done and I came home to let Bandit go outside and give him some din-dins. Right, baby bean? Right, baby bean? No, no, we wanna see you on the video. Okay, yeah, you're a good boy. Look at that waggly butt. Look at that waggly butt. Yeah, that's a good boy. Whoa! Wait, wait, lean, yeah, lean this way a little bit, like, the sun looks aw- no, no, the other way. Yeah, the sun looks awesome, like, reflecting through your hair. It, they put a bunch of, like, copper in it, so it's gonna look a little bit brighter today than it might tomorrow. Um, but I really like it. It's fresh, just got it done. Nice. Yeah, So. Completely yeah, this is like a weird interlude of hopscotch. We just learned how to play hopscotch, you guys. We Googled it. Like I'm on our fourth turn. Okay, do it. Oh no, it didn't go in the number that I was aiming for. So oh, so then you turn. you lose a turn. Well, we'll just pretend like that's your number. Okay, so that's my number. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> that was hard. Oh, but there isn't a number There's 10. Not a number 10. But if there was. But you could imagine. Did it. You did it! You're the hopscotch champion. Two points. I got two points. That was a good. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna do on number seven. Okay. Oh, you did it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Did you not think I could do it? Well, mine bounced out, so I thought maybe yours would bounce out too. No, I'm better at this. Okay. okay. Whoa. Yeah, you're like the hopscotch queen. Well, back to present day. Sorry, this video is sort of like a mishmash of all sorts of stuff. We're just trying to like prepare ourselves for the hurricane and that turned out to be kind of like a go here, go there, show this, show that type of thing. So we've got all of our hurricane supplies. Um, we're not boarding up the windows or anything because we have hurricane windows. So those should be good. They're able to take an impact of a two by four at like a hundred miles an hour or something like that. Um, yeah, oh, and I wanted to show you guys the food that we picked up, too. So here it is. Here's all the food that we got. Not everything is non-perishable. Some, like, uh, cereals and stuff like that, which should last kind of a long time. Got a lot of noodles and spaghetti and peanuts. High-protein stuff. High-nutritional uh, stuff. Some, like, milk and coffee. And then down here is where we get all of our dinner things, like all soups and Chef Boyardee and SpaghettiOs and stuff like that. And then we got a little bit of water here, some propane, then there's more water in the other pantry. So we are good to go. And so there you have it. We're about as prepared as we can be for this storm. We're just keeping a close eye on it now. Worst comes to worst, got a full tank of gas, car's got a full charge. Have enough mileage with that to get probably all the way up to Atlanta, which I know that's where a lot of people are evacuating, but more than likely there will be more gas somewhere between here and Atlanta. So if we needed to, we could go even further. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna ride it out. Should be good to go. It'll be our first time in this house in a hurricane. I am concerned about the roof, like damage to our shingles. That's about it. I think the actual structure of the house should be good. So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.